Hi guys, today I am working with the Tim Holtz and Sizzix side order Valentine. It's almost Valentine's Day and I thought, you know what, I finished my Valentine cards. Maybe I could help some people out if they've got this and they just like, oh, I need to quick make some Valentines. This is really cute. These were an afterthought. This was my first try and I think it turned out really, really well. Get up close so you can see. So cute. That's all that's in the kit. You can see the raised area from the little, I guess you call it the embossing, the paper embosser. And then, is that what you call those? I have one right here. Te texture fade. Um, then the little calendar, the love, and the heart box. This part is his stamp set of dies. And they're just Sizzix Thinlet, um, Tim Holtz alterations, five dies, Thinlets, but it is the stamp, they're rectangles. And I used all of them, except for the teeny tiny one. So I just thought this turned out so great. And I thought, oh, I think I'll give this to her bus driver with a little box of candy because they work hard. <laughs> and I last minute, I had so many left over, I made a cute tag. I mean, come on, really? You just lay these things down and they look fabulous. So I had some extras and I just kind of wanted to show people how easy they are to assemble. And when I first did it, I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Ooh, I better get my, um. My phone plugged in. That would not be good. I'll, I'll get my thing going and then bam, I'll be done. Okay, sorry about my hand. All right. This is what happens when you're not a professional. When you're just having fun. But I just had to share because they're, they're just so cute. All right, so I started out. Here's some other things I'm working on. How cute are those? Oh my gosh. And I used the Bow Bunny stamp. I bought this off eBay. Anyways, I'm, like I say, I'm very distractible. So I started off with a small piece of pink paper, just scrap paper over here, just like this. And I said, oh, I wonder what that would look like. I literally just did this. And you don't even need to do that. And then this, I think I have to use my, my extended multi-purpose platform. So this is showing you how you do it without his little side kit. It's so similar. I mean, just exactly the same way you do this anyways. I don't ever use these texture fades, but once I ran those hearts, I have a few texture fades. I thought, oh, I gotta work this into my artwork more often. Sorry for any shaking. I have not figured out how to get my camera. My table's wiggly because it's so big. So I gotta figure out how to fix that. But Valentine's is here. People need to know what to do. So, sit like I didn't wet it. I've seen him do videos where he wets it. Look at that perfection. And I thought, I wonder what size that is. That kind of Valentine always reminds me of letters and stamps. And that's all I did for this. I won't go through the whole card making process, but I'll just show you. Just to finish it off, get any kind of rectangular die, whatever size you're doing, and just run it off. I mean, like, I'm not even lining anything up. I'm just sitting it down and just having some fun. And on this one, I just cut it and stuck it on the tab. I didn't even, I did not even run it through a die. I, I wondered, I bought a few of these 
And I often wondered how easy or hard are they? I mean, come on, can you? Look how cute that is. I mean, seriously. Let me put this up on like a piece of white scrap paper. Seriously? So cute. And that's just like with that stamp die, you could save this outline if you wanted. Okay, so again, to make the card, that's how I started. Then I assembled these and glued them on and just alternated pink, red, pink, red. Then I did, just to take up some space, a white border with my, and I wrote the name down. Simon Says Stamp Stitched rect Rectangle Wafer Dies. And they were $29.99. But these I use all the time. If I lost them, I would buy them again. Okay. So get these out of the way. And there's many ways you can do these little cutie pies. And they come just kind of, you see how mine's kind of messy? Just kind of stuck with tape. I have... And I just haven't gotten it out. Um, the little holder for these side orders. I think it's. I think it's like this, but it just doesn't have the the magnets in it. And I kept. There's the little hanger for the. I guess the little hangers for the calendar, and then the 14. I just kept them in there because I didn't need them and they're small. I would recommend have a little piece of white paper or a little tray or something and gather them because you'll run one and then say, oh, I wish I had it in this color. So it's not all the same kind. Then you'll run it. Then you'll have four. I mean, you'll have, you'll have two instead of one and then they'll be mismatched and then you'll run another one and then you start collecting all these pieces and it makes it really, really fast to assemble. Like I, like I haven't used one of these yet. So much fun. So I think that turned out pretty. And I bought these to see, will this make my life easier because these little guys are so tiny? It does, it, it really does, but you can also use any glue that you have, especially if you're using it on like flat matte paper, you're not gonna get a sheen from your glue. So I'll do some with and some without. And this is the adhes permanent adhesive sheets from Sizzix. And I thought if I didn't have this little machine, I'd be in trouble. No, it, it just, it, you're fine with that if you don't have it. I think that's more convenient. It's like if I had a daughter in college who loved to do this, totally send her off to school with one of those. Because they have more time, more free time than you think. <laughs> okay, now, I think I will run pink and I will run red. So, just kind of eyeball what you need. I'm like the messy crafter. Peel it off and stick it down. And it says it right there. Peel here. Okay. Like this. So I've only used this one time. So crazy easy. Let's see if you can see. I mean, that's easy, so now I have sticky, sticky. It, it is sticky on your fingers, though. Um, then we'll do red. Let's go through my stash and find some red. I could do red glitter. Ooh, I haven't used my red glitter. No, that might be too distracting for the camera. So I'll do the red without. Some red polka dots. Oh my gosh, I made my daughter a card. If I have it sitting up here, I'll pull it out. I used his, I'm telling you I'm distractible. I used his, I think it's called Stitch Slots 
dye. Let me see if I can find it. Yes. Oh my gosh. I used this dye. It was my daughter said, I want a tag that's also a card. So I made this this weekend and I had some, I think it's called Love Notes. Oh, look at that. That does not look vintage. That it just, and all of these pull out. OMG. I think I did good. Uh, <laughs> and then when it all, everything comes out, her, she requested a unicorn, you know, you got to give the kids what they want, right? So anyways, you can make something so modern, even with his vintage items. He's so fabulous. I mean, could he be more fabulous? Okay. Anyways, back to business and back to this. Okay. So we're going to do plain red. Love this. Love this is irreplaceable in my opinion. It it just is the sharpest cutting paper cutter. It is so precise. It makes life so so much easier. I've had them where they kind of shipped up and I thought it was me. Okay, so let's see. I will cut a few off. I should do them at the same time. See if you think this stuff through. And kind of like mass produce, you can do it a lot quicker. Okay. There. All right. We'll just we'll just place them down. I don't. It doesn't really matter to me what's what. Uh, I did have trouble, however, with the envelope. But see, I... Let's see if I can get it so you guys can see it. I wanted it to be... Where's my lens? I wanted it to be precise. No, no gaps. And you can, I folded the first one and kind of messed it up. The second one I did, this is the second one, I was able to fold it and not get any gaps. When I run, I'll run one off and you'll see the gaps. Don't run this one on the, on the sticky. You're not gonna want sticky all over it, I wouldn't think. I don't know, this is, I only ran that one once. There's the love. Then we can pop out, let's see if you can see this, yeah, pop it, just collect all your little items, your one, your four, your little, and then the other pieces just, you know, trash. So we'll do like that. I don't know what I've got, we'll see what I've got after I run it, but you'll see how easy it is. Okay, so we've got all of the dyes on there. I apologize for any shaking. And the only reason I'm running them twice is because it just is feeding it back to me. You know, I don't think you need to run it twice. It's just the way I have this. Normally I sit it this way. And we'll just assemble a few of these. Oh, okay, now I ran this wrong. I, for some reason, always want to run this on the sticky side. You're supposed to run it on the paper side. Save them. It does not, it doesn't matter. Once you start assembling them, it really doesn't matter. Like, I didn't think these pieces were thick enough. So I doubled them up. So there's red from the original backing, a pink in the center with sticky on it, and then red. But it, you cannot mess this up. And like I said, save all your little extra pieces. Okay. All right, we'll try this again. 
See, they're tiny, but in my opinion, they are well worth it. And they're fast. See, if you're like me, you might be better off just running them on plain paper so you don't mess up. But this little heart, I could just see doing multiples of that heart and just having them all over the place. I, with the tag, I wound up just popping a little heart up there because this was a little short. And then I just ran a red marker around it to finish off the edge. Anyways, we will rerun this the correct way. See, like this is upside down, but you could stick it and make it thicker and then raise your item up. All right, make sure we got, <laughs> make sure we got it right. Just pop everything out and redo. And then I will put this on a tag to make it super fast and super easy of a project. All right, I'm going to keep all of my adhesive pieces here. It's funny, that's just the way my brain thinks. Then like if you need, like this is a red envelope, let's get a um, pink heart. It doesn't matter if um, it runs off a little bit on here. We'll get a little pink heart and then it'll stick right to the envelope. And just use every little bit and piece. And I ran it upside down again. I just, that's... I guess because that's how I line it up. So you know what not to do. But hey, I got a heart already. Huh, an upside down heart. There. Isn't that funny? This is a what not to do video. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how simple this was. If you don't do my mistake. Okay. There we go. And you still have quite a bit of adhesive that you can save. I, I'm going to save all of those extra pieces for other projects. I just think it's silly to waste it. It's so handy and very sticky. So, I will run a tag out of some white cardstock, and these are the Tim Holtz. That's this set right here. This is the Tim Holtz Framelits tag. This has eight dies. I know he came out with a new one, because there's only one, two, three of these of my favorite shape tags. Uh, he came out with a new one. I use these all the time. And then just some scrap paper. This is some Bristol board. his tags they give you a nice raised edge right here and if you wanted you know you could put this right on here and just trim off the sides I just think a nice plain tag with a couple of red hearts and pink hearts I think you're perfect okay we got our love there Your little love out. Okay. I think 
think that look will be pretty. And then I I liked the hearts done in like one two colors and it's like an optical illusion how he cut this how they designed this see how these edges are flat here then you just whoops line these pieces right up effortlessly and it looks like the bottom of a box oh my gosh so we'll just stick peel that out see how easy this is it's already a sticker so easy and it's nice and thick and just do it make sure you do it on the correct side they don't have to be lined up perfectly but I'm kind of a stickler for that So cute. It, it's cute just like that. And then you have this fabulous little, I think I ran this one upside down. Did I? Or did I do it right side up? I kept referring to it as I was assembling it. And see, I have extras here because I was working with glitter. So this is kind of what I wanted to show people. Ooh, I can't have that disappearing on me. Here is a glittery one. I think that's pretty, but would that be pretty with the red heart? And see, this is what you get to do. You get to play. You get to play with all these, all these tiny little pieces and figure out, ooh, which one looks better? Do I like the pink heart? Do I like the, there's a white, I have a white heart. There I did it with a white heart. I think that looks fantastic. I am shocked I do not have a a um, glittery heart. I must have used it on this one. I think a red heart, I mean heart, a red bow. And that's another thing, if you don't like bows, you can stick that tiny heart on here. There's just so many ways you can do it. So we'll just make it simple and fast. And then I'll have a spare, I will have a spare card tag to tie to a little gift for, because you know there's going to be somebody she says like, oh, my specials teacher, I want to give her something. I've got the candy, but I, I don't always have the cards made. And this one, it appears that maybe I had, no, that's just the backing. This is my Nouveau glitter pen. And you are going to want to have some um, tweezers handy. You don't need them necessarily for lining up. Look at that. Look, I mean, just put it down and there it, voila, and you guys are watching me stumble bumble around here and it's very easy. I'll put a little something to hold that down for a second. And this is my Nouveau Smooth Precision Glue Pen. Pretty sure I bought this from Simon Says Stamp. But you can get it in there. So I already have this guy assembled. So I think he should go right here. Now you could do, do like I did and do all hearts. And you know, I was looking at this. Because you have so many extra things look at that I mean stunning it's just stunning it just I would say if you have somebody like me who loves glitter glitter it up I'm not sure who this is going to so I don't want to be like oh that's overkill you know okay so we got that I showed you how to do the tag I'm going to put a bow on this and then we will have this thing assembled. Now see how handy dandy, there's my sticker. And 
this is really good adhesive. You know what? I'm going to do red. I'm going to stick that there for a second. I'm going to do a red bow. This one's not a sticker, so I'll just make it sticky. I love this pen. The glue takes a few seconds to dry, so it gives you time to move around. And it comes out generously if you press, or very lightly if you do not. I mean, look, I'm not doing anything special to get this on here. Voila. I mean, can you, can you take the cute? I just can hardly take it. And see, look, if he was already sticky, wouldn't that be fabulous? You could raise them up. I think that's how I'm gonna do this. This, like when you are, I noticed when I was doing this with my, I think it was a Tombow pen, it, it was drying too fast. But with this pen, you get a little time. I don't know if just more glue comes out. And I watched people do this before and thought, oh, I don't think I'd be interested in doing that. Mm -hmm. When it turns out this cute I am. I'm doing it sideways. Look, I mean, it's so easy. You, it, they just kind of lay there and look gorgeous. And it might just be pretty just like that and do a couple of hearts. I think that's what I'm going to do. I could do this, but I think I'm just going to do a couple of hearts. Oh, look, this one's already sticky. I mean, who, who wouldn't want that? Put them together like that. And this one's upside down, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it truly does not matter. This one you could just put Elmer's glue on it, but since I've got this out, and I know it sticks. Boom. Make life easy. I am so glad I had a minute to make this. To show people how phenomenal these little side orders are. And look. Elmer's Extreme. Just make your life easy. You know, you hope people kind of save these and hold on to them, but some people don't. So don't put too, too much effort in them, especially if you don't know the people. Like my mom, save everyone I make. <laughs> my husband, eh, not so much. So know your audience. So I hope everybody has a wonderful Valentine's Day. Anybody who viewed, thank you so much. I just love this stuff so much. It's the Sidekick Side Order, the Valentine. And, oh, should I show you, before I go, I'll show you the envelope because, you know, the envelope is really cool. It has tiny impressions. You can see how it turns down. It just, you don't have to force it. Just go with what it wants to do. This one, I forced it to get it shut. But I don't think that's the purpose behind it. I think it's supposed to be a little relaxed and open. And then you can kind of vintage up the, the sides. And it's puffy. It lays kind of puffy to give some dimension. Oh my gosh. See how easy that is to fold? And I think you just, well, that one did per 
perfectly. So maybe it's just after you fold a few of them. And you know, you could even do this and do your 14 on this. See, I'm already ready. I could do a whole other tag with my envelope and, and my 14. A box, okay? You don't have to put love on it. It really makes a lot. So I hope you guys like this. And my plan is to do more with these little side orders because I've got a couple more and just kind of show people if you like it. Um, so give me a thumbs up or say, yeah, do a Christmas one or do, you know, as I have a few of them. I think I have birthday and Christmas. So anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. Have a happy Valentine's day and happy crafting.